Disclaimer. This video is intended for mature model railroading enthusiasts. This video may contain foul language and coarse subjects. This may also contain model railroading failures like derailing or dropping. Hopefully none of the dropping. Your discretion is advised. Good morning, afternoon and evening, and everything in between. I'm the Canadian, back with another N-Scale video. Today's video, we're going to be doing a review of Cato's SD70 Mac. This one featured in the Burlington Northern Santa Fe's executive scheme. Let's get into the review. Starting off this review, I'm just going to say this right now. There, compared to the other two SD70s that I have done, again, there's not going to be much difference between this SD70 Mac and my previous reviews of the SD70M and the SD70i. Now, the closest that it resembles is the SD70i in appearance, except for one or two little details which we'll jump into right now. Starting off with the paint scheme. This locomotive is done up in the Burlington Northern Santa Fe's executive scheme. There have been a few SD70s painted in a different variation of the scheme. There's been the SD7, er, the BNSF, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, and one with just the number. I think, I don't know if there was one in each or two of each. But this one is the one featuring the BNSF in the center there with the number 9776 on the cap here. So of course in typical Cato fashion, this is a very nice detailed locomotive. Always impressed with the quality that Cato comes out with. Looking at the detailing here. You have some warning labels on the back there, right next to the brake wheel. The red paint, or the red stripes that outline the cream part are very crisp. No runs or smudges that I can see. Some more warning labels up here. Some down along the white safety stripe here, which is white, comes off kind of like a darkish or a lightish gray. It could have done with a second coat, in my opinion. And then you have the front here with, I guess, builder plates and SD70 Mac. Going to the front here, you have number boards that do light up with the headlights. The front here with the backwards railing okay the Burlington Northern logo on the front and then the, the front crest of the executive scheme the porch here with the white safety stripe the railings are molded in green though when I convert this to, to DCC this, as this is currently a DC locomotive um, I might take the railings off and just paint them white just to make it a little bit more prototypical and then it does have a separately applied plow here with an aftermarket microtrains coupler. On the other side here, this is where you start to see the changes. Mainly, this compartment right here. On the SD70M and SD70I, they are just a box. Where on the SD70 Mac, if you can see here, it is more of a tapered to the top design for that compartment. And then the railing goes up and around. So looking here, basically the same detail as well when it comes to the markings. Here, here, and along the steps. Going to the back, you have again the Burlington Northern logo with number boards that don't light up. With the headlight there, white safety stripe, microtrains coupler, and then separately applied connection hoses there. Looking at the top here, it's all in green with the cream of the cab up there. Brake fan is painted in silver with everything else picked out 
got the exhaust stack nicely molded and these fans as well are nicely molded as well. Looks like some antenna detail there. The trucks are also molded in the same green as the rest of the locomotive and nicely detailed as well. And then the fuel tank does have some molded detail up at the front here for filler hatches. Underneath you do have the Kato made in Japan. And then you have more detail on the, on the fuel tank there. That pretty much rounds out looking at this locomotive here. For comparison, I will grab the other SD70s I've featured on this channel as that's running out my SD70 lot. So I'll put this on the track here. First off, the SD70M from Athern. Next up, the SD70I from Athern. And my test track's getting kind of short here. Let me add a piece on here. By the way, I'm using Kato Unitrack for the display track here. And then last but not least, one of two, because I didn't want to dig the other one out, the SD70 ACE. I have a total of five SD70s, two ACEs, an M, a Mac, and an I. The only ones I have left to get is a normal SD70, and if anyone ever comes out with it in N scale, an SD70 ACU. Wouldn't mind getting a couple of those for the Canadian Pacific Heritage schemes. So that pretty much do goes for the review of this locomotive. Let's take it over the track and see how well it runs. Okay, now that we have the SD70 on the layout, I've attached it to a consist a little bit Basically the same consist that I've been using, only being a bigger locomotive, I had a few extra cars being these two Atlas pressure aids and these two roundhouse high side gondolas. The rest of it you've seen before. So I'll put some power, that's on the wrong setting. And let's give her a go. Really smooth runner. Um, it is an older Kato um, compared to a lot of like the newer stuff. So there, when I got it, there was some work I did have to do to it. The oil and grease that was inside it was solid, so I had to clear all that out, put some fresh stuff in. It was mainly just general tune-up kind of stuff. But once it was all said and done, it's just like a regular Kato. Fantastic runner. See if I can get a real fanner view here. There is a good shot. It's 
So I'll just slow her down here. Okay. I'm gonna pop that just in case. And then just for the heck of it, just to round out the SD70 videos here, I got the SD70M, and the SD70i. First off, I'm going to see how these three run together. Oops. Ooh, they run pretty good. I'd put the, uh, the SD70 ACE on it, but compared to <laughs> those three, it wouldn't work out too well. Let's get the rail fan view here. So that has been my video review of the Kato SD70 Mac with the little treat of the other two run along with it. If you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. As always, leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, go on ahead and check out the Instagram page at the Canadian A for some channel updates, as well as possibly some spoilers, or just general things of what's going on. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.